Hello and welcome. Uh, they say a good user interface uh, needs no instructions. And after several years of, uh, of doing various levels of IT support, uh, I can say that most of the intuition that comes from using a computer uh, comes from pre-existing knowledge of using other computers. And while that should be intuitive, uh, basic tasks are still mysterious to the average computer user. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and give MX Linux a go, uh, just to point out where some of that confusion is with n uh, normal average computer users. And issues that I point out aren't really with the operating system itself, uh, more so with the average computer user. I'll consider putting more Linux distributions and other operating systems through their uh, average user paces. Uh, let me know in the comments if you'd like to see more. Uh, to get started, uh, I gotta say using SourceForge uh, for uh, the downloading their ISO uh, is not good for the average user. Uh, if I, you are just getting started, uh, knowing which option to pick is going to be too difficult for that person. But doing this like the normal person would, uh, I'm going to go for the one ha that has the most downloads. Uh, most likely downloading and creating the USB or DVD installation media would be left up to their techie friend or family member. As far as installation goes, the installer works quickly uh, without uh, any issue. Uh, my one uh, small point that I would make is that the average computer user doesn't know what a computer's domain is. And they'll either leave it as is, or they'll use their email address, or they'll pick something. And I've had this where that something, the user then believed that they owned that domain. So if they picked NFL.com, then they believed that they then owned NFL.com. Um, leaving this option out of the installer would be a real no loss to the average computer user, uh, but easy enough, moving on. Uh, first time login, uh, the normal user will usually close any and all alerts on first appearance completely unread, and I'm going to go ahead and do the same here. The manual and the FAQ on the desktop are a nice touch, although there are far too many pages for a normal person to read. Uh, the search function should be used, or the index should be used. However, average computer users will... Uh, typically just skim through the document looking for what, they're, what they want if they choose to use it at all. Uh, learning how to use the software isn't really the first step that uh, the average person will go for. As far as software installed goes, uh, the default software installed covers most bases. Uh, they have their web browser, they have something to manage their printer, word processing, and email. Unfortunately, average users don't really understand the concept of the start menu or application drawer, and an icon for that is not enough. It should say menu or applications or something similar. Uh, the average users will expect the programs that they are expected to use to already be on the desktop. So they'll, they may find Firefox and files and they may even get into the software manager if they can remember which password they had selected for root. Again, uh, that's one thing that, you know, the average person may not be able to figure out coming over from Windows, that there are two separate accounts. But uh, once software is installed, finding it again is another thing since average users are accustomed to the installer creating an icon on the desktop. So that bit of intuition that they're looking for, which is honestly sloppy, if, in my opinion, 
As far as customizing the look goes, uh, the included wallpaper selection is nice. Um, this one thing is kind of a, a gripe that I have with XFCE, and that is that they split up the uh, setting the desktop and icons and then the uh, window decoration and then the theming into three different applications. And for the average end user, that's too many applications for what in their mind would be one thing. Um, kind of a, a little pain. And some of these themes that are installed uh, don't actually display properly. Some things come in transparent and whatnot. Those themes that don't work properly really should just be removed. The average end user may accidentally choose one of those and then not figure out how to correct that. Next, one of the uh, most common things that we're doing with uh, computers these days has been, of course, Zoom. The Zoom uh, Debian package should be available through the software installer. Uh, the average user struggles with installing packages and have them go to Zoom's website, find the download link, know which version of Linux uh, they're running or is most similar to, and the architecture they have is too much. Uh, installing Zoom would very likely end up being left to their techie friend or family member. So, kind of in conclusion, uh, MX Linux is a very nice looking Linux distribution, and I would say even a slightly above average user could find their way around MX Linux and find themselves contented with what they have there. I would not, however, recommend MX Linux to the average computer user because of the dependency of uh, understanding the concept of the start menu to find it anything other than files or Firefox. So on a rating of 1 to 5, 1 being great grandma can do this, to uh, I do this for a living at being a 5, I give MX Linux a solid 3, uh, that being you know, the level of I fixed my computer by updating a driver once three years ago. So anyway, uh, tell me what you think. Uh, do you think uh, my assessment is spot on? Would you recommend a Would you recommend MX Linux to a average person just looking for a computer to work with? Uh, what do you think of how I'm thinking of the start menu? And thank you for watching.